Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we gonna check out top 3 best Bluetooth speakers. Starting at number 3. Marley Chant. For its size and price, it's fair to expect a little bit of bass response from the Chant Sport, but not anything truly powerful. Even with two passive radiators, a speaker this size is going to have a hard time producing a hefty bass response without distorting. The speaker can get quite loud for its size, producing a powerful mid-range and high-frequency presence, while leaving the truly deep bass out of the equation. This makes for a crisp, rich, satisfying sound. On tracks with seriously deep bass content, like the Knife Silent Shout, the Chant Sport delivers a solid sense of low end, but the truly sub-bass frequencies are more implied than delivered. At top volumes, the speaker flirts with distortion, but manages to avoid it, most likely because it is actually also avoiding the sub-bass realm completely. Bill Callahan's Drover, a track with little in the way of deep bass content, is a crisp, mids and highs focused affair through the sport chant. Again, this is not a bad thing at all, particularly if you're going to be using the speaker outdoors, where higher frequencies often need some boosting. The drums on this track, which can sound unnaturally bass-heavy on boosted systems, take a bit of a backseat here. The drums aren't quite reduced to a thin tapping sound, but they're definitely no match for the presence of Callahan's baritone vocals and the guitar strumming, both of which benefit from a crisp high mid-presence. Callahan's vocals also receive a solid low mid-richness. On Jay-Z and Kanye West's No Church in the Wild, the kick drum loop gets a pleasant dollop of high mid-edge, bringing out the sharpness of its attack and allowing the loop to slice through to the forefront of the mix. The vocals dominate just about everything else, always with a clear high mid-presence, but never sounding overly sibilant. The sub-bass synth hits on this track are, again, more implied than delivered, we hear mostly their raspy top notes, and not the underlying thunder. While the House of Marley Chant Sport is not a bass-heavy powerhouse, you won't find any speakers with truly powerful bass in this price range. If that's what you're after in a portable Bluetooth speaker, consider the more expensive Bose Soundlink Mini 2 which has a very rich bass response, but still lacks the subwoofer-like sound of larger systems. In this price range, the Chant Sport actually delivers a pretty balanced mix, but there are other options with a bit more bass punch, the Divoom Voombox Party is a solid, powerful speaker that is also outdoor friendly. Also worth considering, the Bose Soundlink Color and the Splash Proof JBL FLIP3. For $120, though, the Chant Sport is a sensible, solid Bluetooth speaker that will work well outdoors. Check out the description for more information and latest price. Coming at number 2. Inidic Hi-Fi Wireless Speaker. There is a 2000 mAh battery inside, which Inidic quotes as having about 10 to 15 hours of continuous playback. I'm going to go ahead and say they were right on the money with that. I often get about 12 to 16 hours of playback, but there are variables involved here. Like the volume and what kind of music is being played back. But overall it's got pretty decent battery life. It'll definitely get you through a full day at work. This is the BTS P10 Plus model which is very compact and will definitely fit in your backpack or even a carry-on. Which is quite nice to be able to take on vacation with you or traveling. It is just Bluetooth, no NFC here, which is quite surprising to me. As every Bluetooth speaker I've used in the past couple of years has been NFC, but hey it still works. It has a nice matte black, soft touch plastic casing, and the actual speaker is red. So it looks really nice together. On the right side there is the on-off switch as well as a micro USB port and an O port for plugging it into your phone or laptop. On the top is the Bluetooth and volume buttons. And number one of this list. Jawbone Mini Jambox. The Jawbone Jambox became one of the first big name portable Bluetooth speakers when it debuted in 2011. Jawbone supersized it the following year and introduced the larger, more expensive big Jambox. And now the company is going the other way. The new mini Jambox is, as you can guess, a Bluetooth speaker that's about half the size of the original. 99 rechargeable isn't much larger than an iPhone. In addition to its tiny size, the mini is just 58x 154x 24. 5 mm and tips the scales at a mere 9 ounces, the mini Jambox features a standout design. Unlike many of the Meb Bluetooth speakers flooding the market, the Mini Jambox looks and feels great. The body is a single aluminum enclosure, housing stereo drivers and a passive radiator. It's available in nine different versions, a mixture of different colors and varying grill styles make no mistake about it. This is first and foremost a lifestyle product. 
In shrinking down the original jam box, Jawbone's engineers have created a wireless speaker that's designed to be carried around with you wherever you go, a constant audio companion to your smartphone, tablet, or laptop. You'll find the standard Bluetooth speaker features on board, charging via micro-USB, line-in for wired audio sources, and built-in speakerphone capabilities. Top side buttons provide play pause and volume controls, and the mini includes the same speech cues and live audio sound processing mode found on the other Jambox models. To add the live audio, Jawbone requires you to head to its website and create a Mytic account and install the Jawbone updater. You can then update your Jambox mini with live audio and also upload one of several character voices that spice up the voice prompts. I went with Bombshell, then switched to Mobster and later Hero. It's a shame all the voice options aren't loaded onto the device, but that would require the device to have additional memory. I have included this product links in the description. You can check out this link for more information and latest price. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a like and share with your friends.